I do want to do some house cleaning. I'm probably going to put this at the beginning of the episode just so people watch it. Okay, get that out of the way and then they get to the real conversation. So if you're watching this, this is probably the starting point and what you're watching and listening to now. So I'm getting my notes. So first thing is uh, the giveaway. Don't forget. <laughs> Thank you, Ken, for helping us reach 100 subscribers. Awesome. Uh, I do want to do like a 100 subscriber type of show, like a special, but I think we'll do that closer to like, oh, actually on episode 100, which we're not too far away from. So what we'll episode we on? 81? 81. 81, yeah. 81. Which is crazy that we got to 81. I thought I maybe going to What a thought, huh? <laughs> yeah, what a thought, yeah. Not me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at us. <laughs> um, this is a yeah, giveaway, you know, um, we'll, you know, we're going to talk with the team just to solidify, you know, uh, well, we already know what the what is. It's an awesome shirt. I'll put like a little image somewhere around here so you can see it. Uh, how we're going to do it. And then when we're going to do it, we're going to talk to the team and we'll let you guys know. So, yeah, not just don't just, you know, keep an eye out for YouTube, but our Instagram. Uh, we haven't been as active. I mean, when we post, we post and we kind of yeah, you guys we, know what's up. We're going to start being active, though. Yeah, that's, you know, that's another goal for us this year is be more active, especially because it's so much. It's much more accessible than the channel itself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's see. Another thing, you know, expect for us to be more consistent with the post. You know, we've had conversations. Our goal is to expand, right? But to expand, we need consistency. So, you know, stay tuned. We got some stuff for you. Some, you know, new ideas that are in the works, potentially. We'll see what happens. Um, not saying that, you know, the COVID situation has lessened. But, you know, we've kind of learned to be safer and we've learned to, okay, what can we do in the situation? Because when we first started this, like we first started in Zoom, it was kind of like, what the freak is going on? What can we do? What can we do? But now we have a better idea. So maybe that'll allow us to, to incorporate other projects that we have in mind and make them a reality. So stay tuned for that. Um, like we said, interact with us on, on social media. I think... That'll definitely help us stay way more active. If we see you, even if it's a question, if you want to freaking hate on us, I love, I love it. Yeah, we could talk I, about that too. I, I, I <laughs> you like guys that. suck. Yeah, I like, like we that. We talk about that for a whole yeah. episode. <laughs> well, we can, oh man, I can talk three hours on that. But no, yeah, just you know, interact with us. I mean, it. We like the interaction with you guys. It, it's cool to see when you guys respond to, to some of our posts and whatnot. Uh, what else? Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, one more thing is, um, th there's a plan to go back to audio soon. Cause I kind of had that going, but I stopped it for a bit because I didn't like the, the program we were using. I, it didn't really give us like information as to who's listening, who, how many people are listening. It was weird. So I kind of stopped that, but I would like to get back to audio soon. So stay tuned for that. Not sure when, but so you don't got to look at her. If you want to look at her faces, if you don't want to look at us, you be able to hear us. You know what I mean? When you go to sleep, you can hear this voice. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else? And that, that's pretty much it. I mean, any final thoughts, comments, concerns, Bruce? Uh, nah, I'm good. Um, yeah, I'm good. Chin. Okay. Um, so let's end this segment. Uh, enjoy the show. Because I'm going to put this... I'm gonna put this in the front. Oh, you're gonna put this in the yeah, front. Yeah, yeah. So all right. enjoy the show. Um, <laughs> yo. All right, all right, all right. Plan. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Gosh Potatoes. Um, I feel like this time it'll sound cleaner because of the microphone. Hopefully. Um, but for those of you watching, a lot has uh, changed, a lot has happened. We're back finally. It's an actual like recent episode. It's not an archived episode, um, but it's great to to be here once again. Again, also with Bruce because it's been a while. No, yeah, the last one you're on yeah. was last time I was on was I think Halloween, dude. With uh, oh, with Victor yeah. and like Jolene Kima. That's right. That's right. That like was the last time I was on. That's right. Oh damn. And for you, for you guys, I don't know when's the last time you guys did a podcast. Um, uh, what's the New Year's one? It was like the one before the year ended. Oh, yeah, you're right, huh? You guys, you guys know. And, uh, and Johnny. Have a Johnny, Johnny boy. Uh, so, sure. yeah. Well, for those of you watching, happy 2021. It's a new year. New uh, feats to to overcome. 
what else? But yeah, it's been a minute. So if we struggle a little bit, it's because we haven't <laughs> we haven't done. Not used to it. We're, we're shy. Dude. We're shy again. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to our very shy first episode. Yeah. yeah, no. So you know, as you can see, I'm I'm back in the studio, Studio Thirty Seven. The neon, the neon sign back there, it's cut off, but you know what it says. Oh yeah, I forgot you weren't in the studio, huh? Yeah, I'm in the studio, you know, in, the, in our downtown office, downtown yeah, office yeah, studio. Yeah. What was it, 13th floor? I don't remember, I forget. It's been so long, there's dust, I had to clean out, you know? <laughs> um, and even though we were, we stopped paying rent, uh, the, uh, what's it called? The manager, I guess, of that building, or the owner of the building was like, hey, it's okay. He was, he was such a big fan. He's like, you know what? Yeah. Just give me a slide me a shirt and you know it's it's call it even. We're like, all right. So like, it's like <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so there's a lot to catch up on. Um, so let me just do some house cleaning then prior to this. Well, first off, Bruce, how have you been, my friend? It's been a very long time. Man, dude. Um, I've been you know, I can't complain. I can't complain. Yeah, I've I've been good, I've been bad, you know, I've been I um yeah. it's been it's been a struggle, it's been a ride, uh, just like you said um it's a new year we're what second month second month in Ooh. yeah um Crazy. yeah you know just to try and trying to get back uh back to i to what i was doing before my life went to hell <laughs> <Start getting depressed. laughs> no 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 uh no just trying to get back to, to normal because uh you know we, we we'll talk about my stuff throughout the podcast you know you could ask me things uh you know, Dang, I don't about. need to be dramatic, dude. Oh my gosh. Hey, dude, a lot of things happen, dude. You just start crying. <laughs> you don't know oh, what I've been through, bro. Keep going, keep going. We need, we need this. Um, um, but yeah, dude, how about yourself, dude? What's good with you? Uh, well, you know, I luckily I've been I've been blessed, you know. Uh family's well. It's been an interesting couple of months. Uh so for those of you who didn't know, I was on a business trip. Uh, you know, <laughs> looking for potential, you know, Studio 37 locations. We want to spread the Cast Potatoes name, you know, but also the production company that helps us make this a reality. So I was gone for me. I mean, I left in October and I got back to January. So you guys can do the math and numbers on that. But I was gone for a bit. It's great to be back. It was kind of weird getting used to the, the city motion again. Because even with the pandemic and, you know, the parent lockdown and whatnot, uh, there's still a lot more movement compared to out in the Midwest. But, you know, so far so good. Just getting used to it. Finally settled down. Starting to school up again. New semester. So looking forward to that. It's really your first week that you did, right? This yeah, week? first week. Mm-hmm. Dang. Syllabus so, week or are they already giving you homework? No, some classes. I mean, one class, like, well, most of them, first day was syllabus day. Yeah. And yeah. then from there, we kind of just jumped on it. Yeah. Which so this is, is gonna be your second semester here with online classes. Yeah. Hey, so how's that been for you, dude? Online uh, compared to like going in person. I don't think I've ever asked you that. It's well. For, here's the thing. Um, I don't know if I have something in my brain that is why that's not plugged in, but my attention span is very short. It's yeah. like I mean we've had conversations, but we're talking yeah. about one thing, and I'll like be in outer yeah. space. Yeah. So it's <laughs> and I'm right behind you, bro. Like I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Until I bring it back, I'm like, oh wait, what are we yeah. talking about? But it's I mean it's been interesting because is it more difficult? Like, do I prefer being in a classroom setting? And yeah. uh, not really. Because you know, I have to take the bus and whatnot. I mean, the best part about my school days was just chilling in the library. Yeah. Being there, whether it was editing, catching up on work, whatever it was. Uh, but I mean, every now and then, go, I, I like going like to the campus. It was cool, good experience. And then it forced me to also to wake up and actually get out. Yeah. And while here, it's easy to be like, oh, shoot, I missed class. I <laughs> um, luckily, that, happens, that hasn't happened a lot. So yeah. it's, it's more of like just staying on top of work. Because you kind of forget, especially because there are online classes where there isn't even a mandatory uh, Zoom or whatever visual uh, meeting with the professor and other students. So it's kind of like you got to make sure you're on top of it. And, you know, I've done okay. I got to do better. Yes. Cause my time management, as you know, is like, it's far <laughs> by. It's very terrible. But, you know, I have a planner now. Like I like, I have like two of like planned notebooks or whatever. So it's, I'm trying to stay on top of everything. Make sure this year is a much more productive one. Not saying that I was a lazy boo-boo bum last year, <laughs> yeah. but, but I, I could do better. I could always do better. So I'm just, 
Bro, bro, yeah, man, it's, it's you, been all right. Do you miss, like, the, the social aspect of, like, school? Like, you don't miss, like, trying to make new friends or, like, you know, the teacher, like, doing the <laughs> icebreakers at first? <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Go on. No, I, well, I mean, I, like, I don't know if I've ever talked about it on the show, but I am not, I may be, like, talkative and loud on here, but I feel like I'm almost, like, an introverted extrovert. Like, there are certain situations where, for example, like, if I'm a, if I know I'm capable of having a conversation on a certain topic in a certain environment, I can find myself like, okay, navigating through the room. But if I'm in a setting where I'm like, I feel like I'm out of my league, I'm not, I don't know too much about this, or I don't know who's hosting what, then yeah. I'll be like, uh, frozen, or kind of just like, hide in the corner. So with school, I mean, in class, like if I know what I'm talking about, then I'll talk, but I never found myself feeling like, hey, buddy, want to be friends? Uh, if anything, like I maybe made, yeah, I just have like one friend that I speak to from South. Shout out to JB. Um, and it, but that was because she was really the one who was like, hey, we had to talk because of this project and whatnot. So I was like, all right, fair enough. And then from there, you know, something just charismatic, bro. You know, when I'm in this situation, <laughs> when I find myself comfortable, all right, boom, I run with it. But yeah, other than that, in terms of like the social aspect. I can't. I mean, I don't, it's not it's like I, a, a social <laughs> yeah. butterfly. I could do without it. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could do without it. Like, like I've said before, like I was, my day would consist of going to class. I would take my own lunch, or I'd go buy lunch, and then just be in the library in this like hidden spot, away from everybody else. Yeah, Headphones yeah. on, watch the show or whatever, edit whatever it was that I wanted to do, and I, I like that. Uh, it was definitely different when I was in Syracuse. But I think that's because I found my I find my uh, I found myself a group a little a clique yeah, yeah. that I, I was able to talk to and connect to, and I don't know why I I, I joke like I'll, I'll talk to Johnny I'm like hey I don't know where my and then I'll bring this up later on in terms of confidence and whatnot I don't know where the high school confidence or that because like I've told you stories I'll tell Johnny I'm like who who is that. Who is who is that guy? Um, <laughs> As we grew older, just <laughs> yes. our conference just went down. just went down the drain. So that that's pretty much it. But yeah, in terms of social, aspect, I mean, I I could do without it. I mean, somebody speaks to me, I'm not gonna be rude. But yeah, yeah, yeah. the type that I, it's hard for me to go up to somebody and say like, oh, hello. start the conversation. Yeah, yeah, especially if you don't know them or anything. I, feel you. I, I get just, it. I get it. I, I just like human beings. I don't know if I made that clear. Um, I'm yeah, kidding. Now, love, you, now you did. <laughs> I love our I did. love our subs though. Is it <laughs> partially because I don't see them in person? I don't have to speak to them. Maybe, but um, no, we're good. <laughs> but no seriousness. The yeah, no, it's overall it's been good. Especially with school, it's been high. So, cool, cool, cool. what about you with work, buddy? How's uh, yeah, so work, dude. Uh, well, for for those for those of y'all who don't know. Because, you know, I was gone for, like, a few... How long was I gone for? Like, two, three months? A couple years? Oh, yeah, a couple months ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, I had gotten... I had three jobs uh, at one point. Um, I would work from 10 to 3, 4 to 8, then 9 to 5, sometimes 9 to 6, sometimes 9 to 7. Um, but now I'm down to two jobs because that other job sucked. Um, it was boo-boo. <laughs> yeah. Is right now <laughs> hey, during this time, man. Uh-uh. Okay, so <laughs> that third job, like it was good, like you know, good money. I ain't gonna lie, you know, it was it gave me yeah, it gave me money that I needed to save up. Um, but it was just physically on me, it was too much of a toll. So I mean, as you know, Lewis already knows, you know, I had to let go of that job for for different reasons, you know, physical, you know. Um other stuff <laughs> you can't you can't handle it <laughs> now but uh but now I, I was thankful for that job because like i said it helped me save some money up especially during this time but i let that go to that job i got two jobs right now um and i'm doing you know i'm doing pretty good right now too um i took like a, a month vacation from it uh <laughs> And I, <laughs> I got back to the two jobs and I started, I want to say last, damn, I barely started last Wednesday working again. Um, I'm trying to get back to the rhythm of it. Um, 
but it's going good. I can't complain. I can't, you know, I'm back in my element, slowly getting back to the rhythm, mm-hmm. trying to get back to uh, waking up early because I was, I'd be waking up at 12, dude. Dang. And like, yeah, before, like, when I took that little month off. I so happy to wake up back at night. That was even more exhausted than it usually was. But, um, yeah, that's why I'd be sleeping early now. Um, trying to get back to working out to to get a little healthier again. But I'm doing good, you know? I can't complain. Yeah. I got my two low jobs. <laughs> I'm just a hardworking guy, you know, regular guy. <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, living day to day. That's, that, that's all I do, you know? <laughs> it's work, come home. That's all I do. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no, it's good to hear. I mean, because obviously we've, we've, it's not like <laughs> people probably watching like, damn, so he just didn't do cows potatoes. He just completely stopped talking entirely. <laughs> like yeah, I never, yeah. No, but yeah, like Bruce said, we've talked on the side and stuff, so, but yeah, I have a, I have a much more detailed idea. So it's, it's crazy. Like when you, t- when you told me like the schedule, yeah, with the other job, I was like, bro, I am a bum. Oh, and then- <laughs> Nah, then the thing was, I wasn't even supposed to get the three jobs because I was getting offered the, the second job I have right now, mm-hmm. right? They were recommending me to to the person I'm working with. And then uh, I was looking at the third job and I was like, like, that's good hours compared to the second job. But the second job offered me experience in my field of psychology, okay. right? So I was torn between experience and getting, getting money because I was like... I need, I need to do, and yeah. I, asked, I was torn about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the people that I'll, you know, I usually ask advice for my parents. I was like, they'll know what I should do. And so I go to them and my dad's are like experience. Moms are like, get the money. I was like, <laughs> I was like, come on. I was like, you guys are no help, bro. I was like, you're supposed to make, I was like, you're supposed to facilitate this for me. I yeah. just made it harder. And so then that's the only reason I took the three jobs. Cause I was like, you know, I was like, I'm gonna fucking try it. I was like, mm-hmm. I get experience and I'll get money and I was like, I'll see what I do. And like, it was cool for a minute. Like I would tell you guys. I mean, I was just super tired all the time. I'd feel a lot of, like a lot of anxiety and like I would feel like not mad. It's just I guess more just anxious and like frustrated type of thing. Cause I wasn't getting enough sleep. So I was just like, ah, like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Like I, I remember I wouldn't even I wouldn't even talk to my parents, like because I was just tired. Like I, I didn't like hearing people talk to me, bro. Uh, and I'm not trying to be fucked up or anything, you know, but I like just, I would go to sleep for like two hours, you know, I'd have to wake up and then I have to get ready and then go to my job. And then my parents would always like, you know, try and be like, oh, how are you? And I'd just be like, oh, I'm good. Like, I'd be one worded about it because I was like, I'm not, I'm not trying to talk right now. I remember I was telling too because I felt bad. I'd tell them like on Sundays because usually sometimes Sundays were my day off at one point. I'd be like, hey, you know, I'm sorry. He was like, I'm just tired. I don't mean to be, be rude to you guys. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it was it, it. It took a toll on me. Like I said, it was a very physical job. That third job, so I think that that's why it, like it hit harder. So I mean, respects to anyone who has a just has like just a tough job like that, bro. And who works like graveyard shifts or like the people who you know have two jobs because yeah damn because i met some people in there that were at least one of uh, one of them was like 50 something maybe in the 60s dude he told me that he would work that job and that after he would work at a like a swami uh selling clothes with his family and i was like damn dude i was like you're like 50 something dude i was like i'm pretty sure it's tougher on you because you're not you're not that young not to be disrespectful or anything well you're you're like get a life old man (laughs) (laughs) I was just like, damn, man. He asked me, he's like, oh, how about you? Like, what do you do? And I told him, like, oh, I just, I, you know, I do what I do. He's like, oh, my God, you're working through jobs. I was like, yeah, but I'm young right now. I was like, you know, I got to take advantage. He's like, that's true. He's like, because, and that's when he told me his story. I was like, damn. I was like, I'm not the only one struggling right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude, uh, what was the question again? What were we talking about? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We just kind of drifted. Um, I guess. What, what it was about, about jobs yeah about jobs. jobs oh because you, you said how you you know you knew the specifics about oh like, yeah that's right and how yeah. like it was just crazy yeah yeah the schedule really, yeah yeah, yeah i don't know honestly i don't know how i did it yeah, i remember i would <laughs> every week because for for that third job i would get paid weekly 
and oh, see, see. and so I would I would get my check and like I said they gave me good hours they gave me overtime and so every time I got that check you gotta be like oh like, I'm ready again I was like let's go I was like I ain't got no body aches anymore I was like, like <laughs> I'm not tired <laughs> I'm wide awake I was like let's go but um uh, yeah and that was it was a uh, it was a good experience I think very good experience I don't think I'm gonna forget soon yeah no, see, it's a it's a good thing you didn't ask me for advice because I would have said don't take any of those jobs, bro. Like quit quit, quit. the job you have right yeah, now. Yeah, quit the job bro. you already have, dude. <laughs> um but, but, no, that, that's so crazy because I think about it and like and I, when you would tell me about that, damn I'm a bum, dude. I'm a loser. <laughs> oh, and by the way, for those of you who, who are curious as to what Bruce said, he was a, a gang member. That's why that was just so crazy. So, for those of you listening, that's why he's like, you know, he's angst, he's tired, you know, because you know that gang life is, you know, more than nine to five, you know, seven, bro. <laughs> this guy. Oh There'll be people watching. Like, hmm, what set he wrote with? But yeah, I didn't even see the third. The third job wasn't. The third job was uh... a. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a graveyard shift he's out on these streets dude. He's on his, yeah it li- really is <laughs> no nah, no nah, i was uh um <laughs> just funny because when i say the position you know what <laughs> oh, yes. it, it reminds me of what you and diana said you know just, you're just sorting, passionate <laughs> sorting envelopes <laughs> you know? so the position was called mail sorter and so <laughs> and so what i did at my job was i would carry these bags that were filled with you know anything people order pretty much amazon ups anything and then we would uh there were at least usually i want to say 25 pounds sometimes they were light sometimes they could be a little heavier and then we have to stack them up in a big like huge bin huge huge bin and uh, those would be shipped to like airplane crafts to like ship to different states and um that's why it was you know it was tough because they wanted everything quick the scans because they make a scan as they wanted at least a thousand two hundred scans which is a thousand two hundred bags for like the eight hours that we were there and like everything was fast dude like there was this lady the supervisor she'd roll up in her scooter bro because she wouldn't watch she had a scooter yeah she'd pull up dude she'd pull up she'd go <laughs> she'd beep dude she'd beep bad people together yeah, beep, 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 beep. Oh. yeah dude. and she scream all the time like she'd be hey you go go to that other line because it was like four lines of bands bro like yeah. they're huge like you line line four okay boom i'll we'll go over there she could show up like 30 minutes later and say hey line one you gotta go back to line one or line two it just depended how much mail there was and like it's it was quick but yeah i was uh were, were you ever scared like when you first started were you was there like a little fear of like damn am i gonna be able to get into the rhythm of what the job entails or what it's asking me to do oh yeah bro because because like i said it, it was a very physical job dude so like so first of all i'm not getting a lot of sleep and then you know second second of all like i wasn't used to like that kind of because i'm used to like hard labor because i would i would before i would work at like uh clothing hey, factories and like i'd pick up boxes and stuff <laughs> right but for this one it was it's like more fast pace <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying yeah and i wasn't used to that kind of kind of pace so i remember the first week of training like after the first day my hands hurt because like i, I would because <laughs> i would have to grab the bag right and i'd grab yeah. it like this and like all this i would just never use my hands that much like yeah imagine eight to ten hours just carrying bags like that bro because like, you gotta know. grip them or else they they slip they fall and the first the second that came back i was like hey man my hands are he the guy that trained me he's like hey man you gotta get used to it you know like that happens i was like yeah i was like hey, yeah, cool 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 and then the i think like the second or third day they taught me how to how to stack the bags just how to stack them because they want them a certain way yeah and then the third day or the fourth day they started teaching me uh well they had they had me handing the bags over to, to him and then by the fifth day, they had me just scanning them and giving it to him. And on the second week, it was already just on me. So I'm supposed to grab the carts, put them to my bin, take the bags out, put them, take the carts out, bring a new cart. Boom, boom. It was just quick. Damn. Then fill up one bin and then go to the next. Or like if uh, the supervisor came up and said, hey, yo, line two. All right, leave the bin, go to my next bin, line two. But... uh. Nah, man, it was, it was yeah. tough. Do you, think, do you think, cause I remember, um, I think you had told Diana and I about uh, that you were going for an interview or something 
And I think we were saying like, oh, make sure to say like if they ask you, are you passionate? Be like, yeah, I, lo- I love the smell of mail. <laughs> uh, I'm passionate about sorting and making sure I'm passionate about people receiving what they need. What they need, what they order. Yeah, what they order. But do you do you think <laughs> yeah. there was at least one person in all that in that workforce where you, where you worked at that was truly passionate about? <laughs> Not that, yeah, about that job. Yes. Now that you brought that up, bro, it's funny. There's two dudes, bro. Two of them. Because like I told you, we would stack the bins like up high. Like there was these dudes because because they would always tell us make sure you stack them like to the fullest. Yeah. But, like, there's a certain point where you're like, yo, like, that's it. Like, I'm not going to move everything around. Like, I'm trying to close this bin up so I can go to my next one so mm-hmm. I can start start a new one. These two dudes would, like, literally move. Like, they would make room, bro. Like, we'd be like, hey, yo, close the <laughs> bin. Like, it's good. Like, we're good. They'd be, like, nah, go hand, they'd be like, nah, hand me another bag. I'd be like, yo. <laughs> I remember because sometimes we would close and these two dudes would be there and we would work with them. Because sometimes we would have to work in groups. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, we there's like four dudes at least standing around. This dude standing on the on the ladder to put the things up. And we're like, yo, all four of us were like, yo, it's good. Like, just close it. He's like, no, hand me another bag. And I'd be like, yo, this dude this is crazy. <laughs> and then we give him the bag and he's like, give me another one. I'd be like, yo, like, come on. But like I want to say there was at least two dudes that were like really passionate yeah. about like they like they trying to fill up all yeah, like yeah. the, the bins to the max. I was like. The Amen, people need their mail. And start yelling like, at you. I was like, I guess. <laughs> I was like, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Um, but with that, like, seeing, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. You know, seeing people who are super passionate <laughs> and super people who are like, ah, you know. That's <laughs> yeah, I'm, it's weird because you would think, like, no way. Especially, like, the I guess if you want to call them, like, quote, little jobs, right? Or, like, smaller tier jobs. But, yeah, they, I'm sure there's, like, a security guard who guards a 99 cent store who's like, I'm top flight security. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the guy. <laughs> and it's like, you know, respect to you. It helps you do your job better than yeah. that. So good. Like I know, I know when I used to work concessions and I was on the grill, I love working on the grill. Cause it was yeah, just me. Yeah. I gotta make sure I was like, man, I'm the best grill in this freaking building right now. And I see yeah. like, bro, come on. These weenies are hot. We gotta roll them up in the buns. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> I would actually put some ketchup on them. Come on, let's go. I was we like, got, we got like, hungry people out there. Let's let's yeah. move it along. And then I used to be like, because the thing is, if you drop like the sausage or weenie or something, yeah, I think it wouldn't be as bad as if you if if you drop the bread, because they had bread cups, bread counted, bro. Hey, hey you'd be throwing yourself for them for them falling weenies, huh? Like no, they're falling buns. Like no, and then, <laughs> no, but it's yeah, because I was nervous. Be like, damn, I might go on me or something. Yeah, yeah. But after a while, I was like, whatever. Like, as long as I do the job right, it's okay. And I remember, bro, they used to throw so much food away, dude. It's like, yeah. damn. Because I guess, they, I mean, because I guess legally you couldn't give it to like a local would, shelter. Or something. You guys couldn't give them to people? No, I mean, they would give us some, but they'd be like, only take one or two things. It depends on the supervisor. Yeah, There's yeah, supervisor yeah. who's like, take as much as you can carry in your hands. Bro, I'd be like, give me like yeah. six hot dogs. Give me four pretzels. Uh, <laughs> you can put some on your in your pockets and your, your hoodie. Just put them in the back. <laughs> yeah, just take like a little bag, like a little sack. Yeah, yeah. to make sure <laughs> hey, you'd be ready. <laughs> you'd yeah, be ready. that was like, damn, bro. Like, I'm not gonna freaking throw all this stuff away. But yeah, no. But now, because I, I, I think I, about it. No, I'll go for it. I remember I would I would uh when I worked for Sick K, they would throw uh like the hot dogs and the the donuts and stuff like that were weren't bought. At the end of the night, they would throw them away. But I remember there was this homeless dude that always like show up. Like even before I got there, like they they told me like, hey yo, like we usually give him the stuff, and we'll do put him in the bag and we just give it to him. We'd be like, hey, yo, take it out. That's you. But um, yeah, dude, this it sucks because a lot of people, a lot of businesses do throw up there, like throw yeah. out their their stuff, and unless you know, instead of giving it away or something. Yeah, I, have you seen? I don't know if you seen, but that TikTok of a, uh, I guess it's do where it looks like Dunkin' Donuts. Where they throw trays and trays away. Oh, donuts? donuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, bro, if I were doing, I might as well. I would. I'd be like, I got the trash. I got it. <laughs> put them in my, your car. Yeah, put, put them in your car. trunk. <laughs> Dump them in there. Be like, we saw you stealing about four bags of donuts. 
hey, yo, sell them on the side. <laughs> like, hey, yo, come pick up, <laughs> come pick up the bag. <laughs> pick up the bag here. But see, knowing me, I'd be like, you look a little too good to sell right now. I'd probably eat all four bags of lunch. It's probably good why I don't work at a fast food joint. But um, but yeah, man, it's been. It's been an interesting, I think, because 2020, like, it started off odd and tragic, then it got more tragic, and it kind of went up, then it kind of had its downs, uh, and then the end of the year, I feel like it was kind of weird, because like you said, like, you had to get used to a new lifestyle, essentially, Yeah. Uh, and then, like, people were like, oh, I'm going to do this now, I'm going to do that, like, a bunch of changes, changes in government and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's just an interesting, interesting. I'm, it, I mean, what I'm not, I guess, not what the expectations, but what do you hope for in this new year, this 2021? Dang, hey man, that's a hard question because I, I think we in the last episode, me and Edward kind of talked about it and with Johnny, but I don't think we we went too deep into it. I'm so or my expectations for this year. Yeah, like what, what do you or what would you want? What do you want? Like, what's a yeah, goal you want to accomplish? For whatever? things to get better, uh, for me to have uh, a good job, I guess. Uh, just <laughs> me and have a girlfriend, <laughs> not be so lonely anymore. <laughs> nah, yeah, I guess kind of just to get uh, things back to normal because with the whole COVID thing, I got uh, like my, I had, you know, as you know. Um, I had my parents stop. Well, my dad stopped working because yeah, my mom was already not working. So my dad, he's a taxi driver for y'all who don't know. And I was like, hey, man, it's too dangerous out there. And I was like, you stay in your ass inside the house. Me and my brother told me, like, you're not going to go out. And then they beat him and, up. Just saying. Yeah, and we tied him to the bed. We're like, hey, man, nah, dude. He's like, I could still do it. We're like, nah, dude, you're too old. Get out of here with that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, but we told him, we're like, nah, you shouldn't go out to work. And, uh, so, yeah, so I mean that's the reason I got three jobs too because I was like I gotta I gotta help him out. My brother, of course, he would help me out with with, with D camp, but you know I was I was gonna be like, hey yo, you know, give me give me some money, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> <what I'm doing. laughs> hey, yo, I'm a little short today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so I mean that's why I got the three jobs, and uh, and uh, yeah, so it was, it was tough. But I mean, like you said, for this new year, that's why that's why I just want I just I'm just trying to get a I don't know. It doesn't have to be a good job as long as like it's it, it could keep me afloat, you know what I'm saying? I yeah, just want yeah. things to go back to normal. I told my dad, like, if things go back to normal, you know what, just, uh, you, you, you go back to work, of course, if you want. Yeah. <laughs> get the freak get, off get the a, couch. Get, get a job, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you had a year off already, bro. Year. <laughs> <laughs> Now I told him, I was like, you go back to work. He's like, I was like, but just try not to, you know, you don't have to overdo it anymore because mm-hmm. me and my brother are trying, like, work things out. So I think that's the only thing. I just, uh, just to get some money coming in, I guess, you know? Yeah. It doesn't have to be, like, a good job. Just I just need some money coming in to, to be able to help not only my parents, but myself. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, and then keep going on with this podcast, you know what I'm saying? Grow it, grow it a little bit. Uh, get some more uh, some more subscribers. You know, we got 100. You That's know? right, yeah. Thanks to you guys who watch. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love, the shares, the likes. And... Uh, yeah, and then of course just to get healthy, dude. Get uh get healthy because uh for y'all who don't know, you know, I got I got COVID too during the the two, three months that I was out of uh, out of the podcast. And so that took a toll on me too. So, you know, just trying to get back to my my normal self. That's that's what I want for this year. I feel like it's a lot, but at the same time it's not a lot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, I think uh, I think it's bare human. <laughs> necessities you know it's the reasonable reasonable it feels like it's a lot to ask for John. i don't know like, <laughs> should i just ask for one thing <laughs> nah, but uh yeah dude how about you i don't know what you guys talked about because honestly i haven't seen the podcast um no i think it was more of like a, it was more we reflected more on the year are you guys uh, so now what you guys wanted this year yeah, well, i mean we talked about but we didn't like we didn't dive into it like we kind of yeah. i kind of said I kind of made us all just say kind of one or two things, like a straightforward, oh, you know, this, that, blah. Like one hey, word. We, I'm over here talking about my life. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Opening up. Look, the world's smallest violin. <laughs> talking about what I want to do every month. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, I, 
I mean, for me, I think if I remember correctly, I just, oh yeah. Cause I think what, what we said was like, what, what do we want for in more in general, not really for ourselves. Cause a lot of the, our answers were more generalized. I think. Yeah. I haven't gone back to see. I mean, once I post an episode, I don't go back to it. Yeah. That's just for like a, a little snippet. I want to cut out, but I think like it was more like along the lines, of like world peace type of thing, like very general. Yeah. Cause I know, I think I said something like, I just hope we learn from this year. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying we're all going to be perfect. We, we're a little smarter, a little more yeah. intelligent, a little more empathetic, a little more uh, conscious of what we say and who we say to and how we say it and yeah. why, more importantly, why we say certain things. Uh, but I guess, so as me personally, I think if I need this more like a uh, personal life, yeah. yeah, more personal. Like I've told you guys too as well in yeah. the conversation. Yeah, that, I thought that's what you meant with the question, you know, like what I was looking forward to. Like, oh, no, no, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah, for you. Yeah, oh, okay. No, yeah, because right now I was like, oh, we we're talking about like what I want. World peace. <laughs> I'm like, I'm over here talking about myself. You were just talking about world Selfish, peace. Selfish, bro. bro. This guy. See, ladies. Oh, hey, my man. Lord. Hey, man, you just trying to make me look bad, bro. <laughs> well, no. That it... was... <laughs> That's a double edged question, bro. <laughs> wow, it's so selfish. Dude. Come on, dude. People in the background, you're just like, Yes, keep going. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but no, I um yeah, I guess for me personally, because like I haven't really thought about but if anything, guy, like I said, I've told you guys, right? To recap, um, I've told you guys that one of my main focuses, right? Yeah, you know, I have school, I have other commitments, but like this show, anything that comes with this show with the channel itself is very like that's T- top three right or top four in my in my mind always i'm always thinking about it so it's like my goal is for it to grow to expand um you know because when i first started you know and i'll be honest my first my intention was probably like you know i want to be out there even if like i just want to be known for doing something but now it's more of like i want to use this as a catalyst for other things like i remember when i think was it we talked to mr cortez how he asked us about what it is, cows potatoes. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. On the fly, I was like, oh, well, you know, whatever. Da, da, da. And I was, I look back at it, so I was like, oh, it's a pretty good answer. Cause now it's it, really good answer. Yeah, I was always, <laughs> I was wondering, like, why, why do we do it? Right. Why am I doing it? Like, part yeah. of it is, yeah, it helped, helped me for sure, helped us keep in touch a lot. Cause yeah, we'd talk before, especially with Edward and Diana. But if anything, the show like kind of almost forced us to, to keep in touch. Yeah. Yeah, to see, yeah. oh, what are you up to? What are we going to talk about? Blah, blah, blah. Um, but along with that, also to use this platform to uh, help other creatives. Like like I was talking to Johnny recently because um, one of my goals as well is to be healthier and whatnot. So, you know, I'm trying to change my ways and my lifestyle. I'm actually doing more. My goal, I, if I'm correct, I've been... Because the thing is, when I work out, if I do the same thing over and over again, I get bored easily and I'll stop. And I don't have that same hunger. Yeah, see, that's that's where the that's where the what's it called the discipline comes in, bro. Yeah, forget you discipline, dis- bro. You gotta <laughs> hey, forget discipline, bro. No, but I think for me, what I've realized is for me to be because the thing I, I don't want to be like because the thing I've told myself, look, you're not gonna have a. I mean, you can have one, but I don't want to be like ripped and like I just want to be healthy. I want to feel. Yeah, healthy. Yeah. Uh, so for example, like on Mondays, I'll do conditioning or I'll, we've gone biking I'm before. Start bike riding. Yeah, bike riding or like yes, on I like Tuesdays are my basketball Tuesdays. Like I'll do basketball drills, basketball conditioning. Wednesdays I'll go hike, uh, you know, safe distancing with you know with Johnny at like Griffith or something. So it's like I, I like to switch it up. So then it's like my mind is like, oh again, do the same sets. And eventually I want to include that in. But like yeah. for, for me, that was easier when I was going to the gym. Cause I actually liked lifting weights. I actually liked using yeah. the machines because it was like, yeah, I'm doing something. Yeah, and I remember even though I think it was like the first week of the gym I ever went, I was already like, man, my arms look a little, <laughs> look a little bigger. There's something there. But I see the muscle popping up. I see, you know, it's just a little, you know, forearm is a little stronger. Uh, but no, yeah. But to go back to it, um, so yeah, to, like I said, there's a lot of thing I would like, but par- primarily like this, I want to finally push it into the sense that, um, boys. Oh, okay, now I get it. I don't know. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. <laughs> My brain just like goes. Like, but I was referring to hiking because me and Johnny had a conversation, and I talked about how in middle school <laughs> it was like, like we look at all these like YouTubers, right? We look at like these movie critics, or like, I 
and and this is like totally i mean i didn't share with anybody really but i would say middle school i was at my most creative when it came to media and whatnot especially because yeah. shout out to miss nunez because he pushed this it was i remember he pushed me to create content and make stuff but in my head i don't know why i always tell myself ah like being in front of the camera is kind of corny it's a little cheesy because yeah. you know i would i do want to i want to talk about video games i want to talk about like comics i want to talk about movies like mo- I, that's i wanted to do movie reviews i was like was that's like, what we started with <laughs> yeah and then, and then that's how we started so yeah if so i remember telling johnny like the goal is to reach out to those young mocks to the young bruces to any other creatives who if they feel like they don't have access they don't know where to start they can look to us to help them they can look to us whether it's teaching letting them borrow giving them a space uh you know to create and actually make things to be that door that for me if even if there wasn't i didn't see it or i didn't take advantage of it but at least this would be a visible and clear door like hey we can help you all out you have a dream you have a vision let's make it a reality so that's for sure one of my goals i mean yeah, I mean, if we could like freaking people are like, yeah, we want to invest in you, we're gonna expand it, we're gonna be like that would be awesome. But even if it, it was just us helping a fellow a homie out, like make YouTube videos, that for me is a, a huge step because that's helping not just somebody else, but also put a stamp on something. Like, yo, we we did that, we helped that person out. So um, so if you're watching this and you want something made, we can help you. You just make it sound creepy like that, <laughs> We can make your dream a reality. You're going to make them. <laughs> You're going to scare them off, bro. We're going to be like, oh, I thought about it. But I don't know. But, but yeah, no, not seriousness. I guess, yeah, just finally pushing this channel and utilizing it as a platform. You know, talk about the creatives. Because, like, even in this past year, right, that we've had more guests. We've spoken to other people who are kind of, you know, on their journey, whether it's yeah. with food, whether it's with clothing um, or, or actual custom, you know, uh, material things. This is it's, it's dope to be like, you know, we're not alone. There's other people we can help out and can also help us. But other than that, you know, just do some weight, you know, get my jawline back, whatever. Ah, you know, who am I? <laughs> um, um, <laughs> but, you yeah, know, I'm. There's a lot I want to do, but I guess primarily that just get make that get that ball rolling. If it already was rolling, just give it a nice kick to a little push. Keep it going. Yeah, a little push. Yes, sir. But yeah, man. And dude, we got deeper than this one, bro. Life, love, happiness, <laughs> love. <laughs> um, but what, I had another question, but I'm like blanking out right now. Cause I thought I wrote in my notes, but I did not. I just wrote things to mention. <laughs> yeah, I, literally, yeah. I literally wrote just things to mention episode 81 notes um yeah no but i mean is there anything else you wanted to bring up or any questions you had for me or anything you had in mind i'm gonna use it as a thumbnail but... <laughs> <laughs> um, i don't know bro i don't i don't i don't think so i mean i've talked about my stuff you've talked about your stuff you know i still buy your school um I don't know. I mean, because, yeah, like for anybody who's listening and watching, you know, this is our catch up episode. Yeah. We're kind of catching up on things. It's been a while, not just for us, but for the audience as well. We hope you've enjoyed the past episodes and the archived episodes I finally I found and edited a little bit. Like there was one, episode 80. Bro, I thought I was never going to see that thing again. Because I remember we recorded it, but I was like, I was like coughing. I was sick. And I had like a towel as a scarf. Oh yeah, I remember there was, that. Remember there was like that. nothing on the wall. <laughs> I think we tried, but it kept falling. So I was like, "Yeah, this is is not going to work." But I was like, "Ah, oh, it's a pretty good episode." Because we talked about a guy getting stuck in a gym and whatnot. That was yeah, interesting I episode. I but I oh now I know my question. So I was gonna ask where where would you like to see this uh, podcast go, bro? Or this our channel or whatever it is Everywhere. that we're doing around the world, bro. Around the world. <laughs> <laughs> nationwide nationwide uh, like i told you i mean i think we talked about i think it was the same thing that went, what you said about helping people out that i think that that moment because i mean like i told you before i'm not i'm everywhere with what i'm saying right now i don't even know what the fuck i'm trying to say <laughs> it's like hey yo like michael scott sometimes i start a sentence and i don't even know what I was gonna come <laughs> 
I'm just trying to get my thoughts. Because I remember when we talked to Mr. Cortez, I had he had asked me uh, something about that. And I told him at first I didn't even think about like it going anywhere. I just did it more no, as a, like, hey, you know what? You know, Mark wants me to do this with him. I'll do it with him. Like, well, I don't see why not. And then we kept going. And then I think when you answered that question that he asked you, like, you know, why did you guys do this podcast? That's when I was like, you know, that's that's a dope way to look at it, bro. I was like, that's <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> you said it first, <laughs> but you asked him, so you know whatever. Yeah. Now, but we said that I was like, that's dope. I was like, I I, I like that. And I think yeah, dude, I mean that's that's been ever since you said that. I mean that's kind of the goal for me too now, just be able to to help you know uh, people who can't afford doing shit that we can or like who don't have the space or you know just any kind of help because I mean I've always liked helping people out and just if this is you know this this is one of the many ways that that I can even if it's just like you said uh, even if it doesn't like become big time or whatever like as long yeah. as it's even if it's just a little community center like this is dope you know we can help people out um, with you know technology or you know any little <clears throat> it's okay to choked. cry bro you're getting you're choked up bro, bro. <laughs> not but <laughs> not but any, any you know any kind of ideas they have or like dreams like that's i think that's that's dope um and yeah dude that's that's pretty much my goal with this too bro see uh see where it goes i, <laughs> I want to be just... famous <laughs> i want money <laughs> <laughs> i want all the I chains all. <laughs> uh, 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 no yeah like like you said that's you know, this is the day by day thing. We'll see. Yeah. And who knows what'll happen? Cause like, you know, last, you know, we think about like, I guess what trends or what moves forward, like Vine. And then because YouTube was around for a bit, then it went to like little things, Vine, yeah. and then it went back to YouTube. And then you got Instagram, then you have Twitter, who kind of made a resurgence, and Snapchat kind of made TikTok. a resurgence a bit. Now it's TikTok, right? And it's like, whoa, like what's next? That's not, I, I always ask anybody who like things like what do you think is next like what's the next thing what's the next take that's the thing you, and that's another thing you don't know bro it just yeah. pops up out of nowhere you just, like, you just start seeing people hey following me here following me there and it's like oh that's becoming I gotta now. get on it <laughs> before anyone else does <laughs> before, yeah but yeah. um but yeah man i mean i'm i guess that's pretty much it i'm kind of gassed out you stressed me out already i'm tired Talk a little I stressed too much. you out. You stressed me out. You made me relive uh, <laughs> my past two years. The past end of the year. But long story short, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, stay tuned. Subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you know every time you know you get an update when we up, uh, upload an episode or anything that we've been working on, new project, whatever it is. You'll be like, oh shoot, okay, they're up- uploading again. Uh, like likes help us a lot because it kind of helps with the growth of our channel. And kind of puts us out there more in, into into people's view. Um, add us on, follow us on Instagram. We'll follow back. We ain't got no shame. We ain't the type that like eh, maybe we'll follow. If we haven't followed you back, we apologize because, like you said, we're not as active on the channel on the on the profile itself. But we're gonna start. Our goal is to be much better on that. Um, otherwise, you know, we appreciate y'all. You got us to 100 before the year ended. It took some work, but we got there. And you guys helped us get there. And so, yeah, let's get to one million by the end of this year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> let's make it happen. But, yeah, we appreciate you guys. Love y'all. Uh, and, again, you know, shout out to Zendaya, whose new movie I got to catch. The one with, um, I forget his name. That's terrible. I forget his name. But he's uh, Denzel Washington's son. Oh, where? Oh, I think it's John something Washington. Ah, I'm terrible. But I gotta watch that one. <laughs> um, shout out to Gilly the answer. I mean, dude's just a cool. He's just got swag. <laughs> he's a cool cat. <laughs> he's a cool cat. You know, cool cat. Uh, and shout out to all of you who supported us, and you know, stay safe, stay fat with the PH. We'll be with you guys soon, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Uh, God bless and peace out, everybody. <laughs>